Hello, welcome to HexFinder. HexFinder is a map editor combined with a pathfinding. Behind the scenes, we have a Dijkstra algorithm running to make the pathfinding happening. So first I want to introduce you to the map editor. And on the left side, you can see the menu. And here we have basically four categories of tiles. We have the nature tiles. For example, we can place a mountain like this. Then we have a street tiles where we can put the different streets. We have rails and very important, we have cities. So this is a very big city here and this can be reached by plane, by car and by train. Then we have a town. A town can only be reached by car and by train. And the village, the village can only be reached by car. The same goes for the site. The site can only be reached by car. And these elements are very important because they are the target and the start elements for our pathfinding. On the left side, on the bottom left side of our menu, you can see the currently selected target. And below that we have an eraser, so now we have no target selected and we can even erase our elements. Here we can see the navigation, so we can move and surprisingly, I, um, <clears throat> I have something made before a map and I can zoom out and I can move to the right. And now you can see what I created before. And here we will do a pathfinding on it. So now I put it in the middle of the screen. So like this, we can see And Now we go to the settings on the top here. We can see street, rates and flights. And here we can basically set the rate. That means the, far, the more right the point goes, the longer it takes to, to, uh, <clears throat> to go over the street, the rails, or to take the plane. And then we can play with it. And below that, we can um, choose our start location and our target location. So I choose the city. Now you can see the, um, up here, city one is selected. And if I want to go to village five, for example, which is here, it's selected as a <clears throat> target. I now press play and you can see we should take the train to this town and then we have to go by car. But what happens if the train maybe has a higher rate, then we can see we should take the car completely from over here. So what if I want to go to another large city here I press play again and then we see I should take the car. But what if the flights are very fast, then we can see we should completely take the plane. And that's it.